All right, party people, welcome back. We are here with the next episode of this time around, Savage Declutter, and this is all about lips. So over here, I have regular lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, glosses and balms, and then like crayon type lipsticks. So let's go ahead and get started on these. Now, if you did not see my last lip declutter, I will link it down below, and I will also put it at the end of this video um, up on the screen so that you can see. But right after I filmed that, I ended up thinking to myself, I'm like, what happened to all those other lippies that I thought that I had? And then as soon as we moved, I ended up finding them in a box of makeup that I had already packed up before that. <laughs> so some of these are from there. So I've had them since before the last declutter, but I forgot about them, which means that if I forgot about them and I wasn't using them, I probably shouldn't be keeping them. So we're going to get rid of a lot today. We are starting out with 78 lip products, and I'm going to try to get rid of as many as possible. Anything that I don't like using or anything that I have not used since the last declutter or I haven't used it enough is going. It doesn't matter if I love it or if I spend a lot of money on it or whatever, it's going. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, let's do um, some lip glosses and balms. Yes, so we'll do these. These don't even need a swatch. This is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. Got this in a Sephora play box, I think. Um, you guys, these lip plumping products, I really feel like are kind of a crock. And look at this one. I hope that this is like in focus enough for you to see, but the little stopper in here that pulls off stuff is like so hard that it pulls the flocking off the thing. So I don't love that. I feel like it's kind of poorly made and it's extremely hard to pull out. And these lip pump plumping products are just, they don't work in my opinion. I mean, maybe if you have much thinner lips than mine, they would work better for you. But for me, I don't see any difference. So it's going. Same thing with this Too Faced Glossy Lip Injection. This is in Milkshake. I thought I wouldn't love the color. Sorry, I've been swatching other things. Um, I thought I wouldn't love the color, but I do. It's a good color. It's this kind of like, kind of creamy gold color, but I don't like that tingling effect. Um, so it's going. This Tarte Energy Lip Surgeons is one of those kind of like color changing uh, lip products. It goes on clear and then it turns pink. <sighs> I don't really like these that much. And I feel like sometimes the color turns out not to be very flattering. So this one is going. Also with glosses in general, I feel like I don't really use them a ton. Last time around, I only kept this Clinique one um, because for the most part, glosses aren't really my thing but somehow I keep buying them, <laughs> hoping that there will be a change. Um, I think since the last time, all of these are like kind of from that box that I had saved up. Um, only a couple of them are newer since last time, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> Benefit Lolly Tint. Uh, it's a pretty color, but honestly, all of these Benefit Tint products make my lips incredibly dry, so it will not be staying. And it's the same thing with the Lolly Balm. I just feel like it's not um, as moisturizing as a product like this should be for me. Neutrogeno Hydro... Neutrogeno? <laughs> Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. This is in Radiant Rose. I got this in a Walmart box. Um, also very hard to pull out. And the little applicator on here holds almost no product. So it's kind of a pain to use. And it's a little bit sticky and doesn't really do much. The color is just not really for me. So this one is going as well, as will most of these, I think. Sugar Nude Lip Balm from Fresh. All of these sugar um, lip products from Fresh, I can't stand. I really wanted to like them, but they are so incredibly drying on my lips. It's a beautiful color, but I cannot keep it. It just doesn't work for me. Every single one of them dries out my lips like crazy. Next up is Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Goddess. I love the color of this. It was a free gift of purchase. I did wear it a few times, but 
these highly pigmented glosses are kind of a pain because they do tend to travel outside your lip lines and then you notice whenever there's an issue with it. So for that reason, it's going. This Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream in Must Have Pink. This didn't really smell like any of my previous Marvelous Moxies to begin with. It had kind of a chemical smell, but now it smells even worse, so I'm just never going to put it on my lips again. Um, and I'm not go going to use it anymore. This is going in the garbage because I think it has gone bad for some reason. So there's that one. I have this Givenchy, um, what is this called? Le Rouge Perfect um, lip balm thing. It's one of those color transforming balms. I had the Dior one um, before and I did not like it because it actually gave me kind of a flaky lip issue and this one kind of did the same thing. I think whatever ingredient is in there that changes the color really messes with my lip chemistry. So this one is going. Then I have, let's see, this Ulta Lip Gloss Stain in Treason. Haven't even opened this one so I'm just not going to open it. This is not the kind of thing like this deep red gloss would not work for me because it would just travel outside my lip lines and I feel like it would be a mess, so it's going. I have a L'Oreal Color Riche Balm in Rose Elixir. I really liked this color, but honestly the formula, I don't know, something about it, it made my lips feel dry. And I don't know why so many of these balms make my lips feel dry. Um, whenever I have so many lipsticks over here that are just regular lipsticks that feel so much more hydrating. So it's going. Moving right along, I have this Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Solar Coral. I used to have several of these. I like them, they're just fine. But you know, sometimes your makeup tastes just change and you just don't like certain things anymore. And you know, pigmented type of glosses like this are just not my thing anymore. So it's going. I have this Catrice Velvet Matte Lip Cream. It is kind of like a matte gloss and it's in mid-nude season. Here's the thing about this. I absolutely love the color of it. The color is so nice and pretty. However, this creates on your inner waterline of your lip that kind of white gummy looking substance and I don't love that. So for that reason, it's going. This Kylie gloss, I did a whole review on some Kylie products, um, and this was a free gift with purchase during that order. This is in Literally, and first off, I hate the applicator. I can't stand it, even though it's the shorter one. And I kind of don't like that it is such a pigmented gloss, but even at that, I wanted to keep it just because I actually did love the color of it. And it doesn't travel outside my lip lines like a lot of pigmented glosses. However, I opened this up last month to go and use it whenever I was filming a video. And it used to smell kind of like cake or something or like cupcakes. Now it smells very chemically. And I, at that point, I had only had it for about six months. And this has a 12-month shelf life. So it has turned incredibly quick. And for that reason alone, I can't recommend it. Next up, I have three butter glosses. Same thing with these. I feel like this was kind of a YouTube made me buy it type of thing, and I really don't love them. I feel like there's nothing special about them, and they're a little bit sticky, but not with any staying power, really. This one is creme brulee. It's going. All three of these are going, but I'll go ahead and swatch them. This one is maple blondie. I honestly don't know what I was thinking with this color because... It's really bad on me. <laughs> and this one actually went on very streaky because it does have more pigment in it. I did not love that. And then this one is Eclair. Also not a very lovely color on me. Last up we have um, three Revlon Color Stain Moisture Stains. I think these were also in that box of stuff that I had already packed up. I don't think that they even sell these anymore. They were actually a good product but they were kind of drying. However, they did leave a nice stain. Um, so the reason why I'm gonna get rid of them is because they're just kind of old, but you know, they were nice. They went on a little bit streaky, but if you layered them on, um, this one is Barcelona Nights. They looked nice, you know, so I, they weren't terrible, but you know, if, if they hadn't already been so old, 
This one is LA Exclusive. You know, I probably wouldn't have even kept them then just because of the drying factor. I used to be okay with that. This is Can Crush, but now I just can't tolerate that on my lip products anymore. So anything that is super, super drying, it's going. And then here we are to the last, let me dry my hand off, <laughs> the last lip product of glosses. And this is the only one that I kept last year, or last season of declutter. Um, this is in Guava Gold. It's the Clinique Long Last Glossware. I love this gloss. Some people will not like this because it is very like sticky. However, because it is so sticky, it does have a really good staying power. Um, so I do recommend it for that reason. However, this one is getting a little bit old and I feel like it's starting to separate around the tube a little bit. So for that reason, I'm gonna let this one go. I feel like there's probably, I think around here, is where the level is at right now. So I don't feel too bad letting it go because I've almost used the whole thing up, but I will definitely be repurchasing this one soon. Next up, let's go into these crayon type of lip products. Um, these, I feel like I keep buying them and then not liking them. So I really don't know why I keep doing that. I really like to stick to liquid lipsticks and traditional lipsticks, that's it. Um, which that tells me that going forward, I really need to only purchase those two types of products because the others just never really impress me. This is the um, Maybelline Color Blur in I'm Blushing. Oops, wrong end. This was a strange product. Um, I did use kind of quite a bit of it, but I feel like my makeup tastes have just changed. And these colors, these kind of cool toned pink, mauve colors, I'm trying to get away from having a lot of those because I have a ton of them. And I'm kind of moving more into like a neutral phase of my makeup, um, you know, appreciation. So I'm going to try to get rid of a lot of colors that kind of are similar to this. So this one's going. Next up is the ColourPop Blotted Lip in Ice Cube. I absolutely loved the color of this. It looked so pretty on. It was a nice just kind of like popsicle sucking <laughs> type of color. Um, but it was incredibly drying on my lips. It almost made my lips hurt because they were so dry. Tarte um, Lip Surgeons in Vintage. It's all right. Nothing special about it. I feel like these kind of ultra like creamy um, lipsticks are just... They don't really flatter me because they will travel outside my lip lines. I hate to use lip liner, which is why you will not see any lip liners in here. It's just not my thing. I will not do it. And a lot of people like to say, well, you're not putting it on correctly. You need to use a lip liner, blah, 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 blah. No, you're selling me the one lip product. I'm not going to buy something separate to go with it. This alone should be perfect. You know, like all of these lip products should be able to stand on their own two feet um, or their own tube. <laughs> but uh, I'm just not, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to cater to the lip product. End of story. <laughs> Next up is Laura Geller Love Me Do. This is in Purple Current, just totally not my color. <laughs> Next up is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Frida. This was the Coffee Break with Danny collab. I feel like this is one of those lipsticks that looks different on everybody. And I thought that it would look a lot more like the NARS Anna lipstick, and it did not. On me, it was kind of terracotta. It's a beautiful lipstick, but not the right color for me, so it's going. Next up is this Laka & Co. Cheeky Lip, and this is in Humble Brag. This is a weird product. It's kind of very oily, and I don't know how well it would work on your cheeks, but on your lips, I really did not like the color of it. It's going. Next up is Lipstick Queen Catalina. This is a glossy pencil. It's very sheer, you know. It's just so-so. And I don't like that you have to sharpen it and stuff, so nope, not having it. This is a Kardashian Beauty and Joystick in Rose Parade. I don't even know if they still make this brand anymore. I think there was like a lawsuit to do with it, but this thing is like one of those glossy reds and it's just, this is not good. This is one where you have to use a lip liner with it. You have to be careful with it. Nope, not having it. I don't have time for that kind of stuff. 
Okay, so Laura Geller, Love Me Do Lip Crayon and Happy Full. This one is just not my color. It's just way too pink. Not having it. Guys, do you realize we haven't even kept anything yet so far? <laughs> That's okay though, because we're going to keep a few of these others. But this is Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in Greystone. This is probably one of the worst lipsticks I've ever tried. Number one, it's poop brown. I just don't like the color. It doesn't look great on me. But number two, this bunched up on my lips and made little like bumps and bulges and like traveled outside my lip lines. It was just terrible. Terrible. Um, Glow Minerals Suede Matte Stick in Pinup. I never even used this. The color is just so not me. I don't do well with orangey reds. Um, for the most part, I need a neutral or blue based red. Then speaking of reds, um, the LOC by Tati in um, Wildish Dreams. I feel like there was some drama around her collab with that also. Um, this is a more blue-based red, but again, just if I'm going to have a red lipstick like this, I would rather have it in the form of a liquid lipstick that's going to have a little bit more staying power that I don't have to babysit. So this is going. I know for sure that these next two categories are going to be harder for me because I do like a lot of these products, but I have to ask myself, do I really need to keep them if I haven't been wearing them? So let's go ahead and dive into that. First up, I have a couple Flower Beauty ones. I love the packaging on Flower Beauty. I think it's really premium looking. However, this is Tender Tuberose. It is the um, Kiss Stick Luxury Lip Color. <sighs> it's a beautiful color, but this is kind of the same type of color that I'm trying to get away from having so many of. Um, so it's just going to go because I don't need 18 million of this color whenever I'm not wearing it enough. This next one is um, Princess and the Peony and this is, it doesn't even have a name. I think this was something like the Balm Stick or something like that. It's going just because I really didn't feel like it did much for my lips and it's kind of like a sticky kind of lipstick. It was weird. Um, would not recommend this one. Um, let's see, we'll save these red lipsticks for last so that they don't stain too bad. Do all of those last. Those, okay, so now we're left with these. Here is this Ulta Matte Lipstick and Petal. This was a gift with purchase. Just totally not my color. It's, I feel like too dark and like raisiny for me. So this is going. This is MAC Velvet Teddy. I have never tried a MAC lipstick before trying this one. And I got this like last month and immediately fell in love with it. It just looks amazing. And I feel like colors like this and more like nudie colors are kind of just what I'm into lately. It's, you know, my new taste in, in this level of my makeup appreciation. Um, I always have these swings back and forth, you know, but this right now is what I'm into, so this I'm keeping for sure. Um, this is Makeup Forever C211. Again, it's that kind of, you know, like mauve -y, cool toned color. Just gonna get rid of it for that reason alone. I'm sure it's a decent lipstick, but not for me. This is Maybelline's Almond Rose in Matte. This was a gift with purchase from Ulta, I believe. Um, it's an okay color. It's an okay formula. I don't mind it, but it's just not for me. I don't ever find myself reaching for this, even though I've had it for a couple months. So it's going. This is a Revlon um, Colorstay Ultimate Suede. This was in a Walmart box, I think, and it is in Fashionista. This color alone is just the sole reason why I won't. And look at how streaky that went on also. Just not my color, not for me. Formula is probably not that great either. This is a L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick in Tender Berry. This one was weird because 
it says it's an infallible lipstick, which to me means that it should be lasting a while, but it's incredibly creamy. It almost goes on like a liquid because it's so slippery and creamy. And you can see on here, I hope, I hope you can see um, that it has like, it's almost melted just from the heat of your skin putting it on, plus the color, you know, just not what I want to be into right now. I don't think I would ever buy one of these though, again, because the formula seems really weird. This is the Revlon Superstay, Superstay. Revlon Super Lustrous Moon Drops Lipstick in Love That Pink. I absolutely love the Super Lustrous lipstick line. It is my favorite drugstore lipstick line. As you can tell, I have five of them. However, I bought this solely because of the green tube. The others come in black, but I ended up really liking the color of it. But at the same time, as much as I love it, I never even wore it since the last declutter. So that means I need to just get rid of it. And because it is drugstore, I'm sure I can find it again in a few years if I decide that I really need this color again. I can always repurchase, but for now, I just gotta let it go. This is um, L'Oreal Color Riche Color Ex Collection Exclusive in Julianne's Pink. Julianne's Nude, sorry. And this one, I love the color of. It's a nice kind of sheer lipstick and it's got a little bit of like shine, a little bit of shimmer to it. I love it. It looks really nice. These smell kind of not great overall like as a, a brand or whatever, but I can overlook that because I like the formula and the color. This is, um, what is this? Lipstick Queen's Jean Queen. Love this color. It's a nice sheer lip color. I can put this on without a mirror or anything and I know that it's going to look good. For me, being in the truck five and a half days a week, sometimes I get ready with no mirror at all. So products that I can really trust to go on um, and not really have to worry about them and babysit them are what I love for me and my lifestyle. So this one is staying. Same thing with this Dior, um, Dior Addict lipstick in Dior Kiss. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's a nice sheer kind of berry red. And it's just effortless. You don't have to do anything. You can just pop it on and you immediately look put together. It's great. Alrighty, moving right along. This is a Michael Kors lipstick in Bombshell. This was part of a free gift with purchase, I believe. The color is just so not right for me and it's kind of sheer and especially in a color like this sheer is not always good because it will travel outside the lip lines way too much. This is um, Urban Decay's Naked. This is the kind of original packaging. Um, as you can tell I've used a lot of this for me. This is a lot <laughs> um, and it is probably one of my favorite nudes. However, Whenever I was looking at it earlier today, I noticed, I hope you can tell, all this like fuzzy looking white stuff around here. I'm pretty sure that that's mold, which is weird because I've really only had this for about a year. I've never really had any other lipstick get mold on it like that um, within a year. So I don't know what's up with that, but this is gonna have to go, unfortunately. Um, but I will be repurchasing this probably the next time I have an Ulta 20% off coupon because I do love it and recommend it. But this particular one has to go. Speaking of Urban Decay, I have this one in Fiend, which is interesting because I bought it at the same time and this one does not have any of that, um, you know, issue about it. However, my issue with it is the color. It's that same kind of, you know, mauve -y color that I really want to get away from, so I'm going to let this one go. Um, this one is NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna. I loved this color. I really lusted after this lipstick for a long time, but as you can tell, same kind of mauve -y tone. I need to let it go because I also have not worn it since the last declutter. It's just going to go. As much as I love it and as much as I like it, I clearly did not love it enough to use it as often as I should have. So there you go, it's going. This is Laura Mercier Velour Lover's Lip Color in Happy. 
This I got in a Sephora play box and it's kind of a different lipstick. It is a metallic, like kind of berry pink. I really like this because it's something different that I don't really have. And I feel like especially for like winter, it looks really nice. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is the YSL Rouge Volupe Shine in number 17. I think this was like Paris something or other. Um, I love the color of it, but it's going because I have not worn it since the last declutter. So this is just gonna have to go. That sucks to say, but you know, it gives me motivation to actually use the things that I think that I really love. Um, and not to let them just sit on the shelf because now I have to let it go because I didn't show it enough love. This one is the YSL Volupt Sheer Candy in number 15. Um, this one is gorgeous. I wear this quite often. It's a nice sheer color that I can put on without really having to worry about it. I don't have to babysit it, so this one will stay. This is the Marc Jacobs um, New Nudes Sheer Lip Gel in Role Play. Love the packaging on this. This is one of my favorite colors also. And while it is kind of one of those mauve ish shades, I feel like it leans a little bit more nude. So this one I'm going to keep because I really, really love the color. And the formula is great too. Um, let's do this one. This is also a nude. This is my most recent addition to the Revlon Super Lustrous collection that I have. This is Bare Affair. And this, I feel like, kind of embodies the way my lipstick is going lately. <laughs> the Velvet Teddy, this Role Play, Bare Affair. Those are the kind of tones that I'm getting into lately, so this one is for sure staying. I absolutely love it. All right, now we have some reds, so let's get those out of the way. This is 100% pure in poppy, and... Again, it's just the thing of like, if I'm going to have a red lipstick, I would rather have it in liquid lipstick format. So that's the reason why this is going. Same thing with this one. This is Giorgio Armani in um, number 400 Ecstasy Shine. Same thing, just, you know, I want a, lip, a liquid lipstick if I'm going to have a red. And a lot of these... Well, this one, the 100% Pure, and the Marc Jacobs are all, like, gift with purchase type of things. Um, and this one also is kind of weirdly, like, sheer and, like, berry. I feel like it looks nothing in the swatch, like, what it looks like in the tube. So that's very strange. I would be pissed if I bought this with my own money. And this is Marc Jacobs' So Rouge. This was my Rouge VIB type of gift thing from Sephora. A couple years ago whenever I hit rouge and I've just never worn it um, again I would rather it be a liquid lipstick and this is Revlon super luscious rich girl red I love this lipstick but I just didn't wear it enough I love that it's sheer I love that I don't have to babysit it but I didn't wear it at all since the last declutter so it's going this is um, Revlon Super Lustrous Black Cherry, which I bought for a video that I ended up never filming. Um, but looking at it, this is not my color. And looking at it in the swatch, this is not my color. But if I just kind of pat it into my lips, it looks so pretty and it looks way different on my lips than it does here. On my lips, it looks like much more of like a berry color. It actually looks a lot like this one, which I think this was that YSL one. Um, I love it. It looks great on me, so this one I'm keeping. And then this one is Revlon Cherries in the Snow. I kept this because it's such an iconic lip color, but this is one that I can always repurchase if I really want to, but because it's red, I would really rather just have the liquid lipstick, so it's going. All right, so let's do these now. This is the Ulta Matte Lip Cream in Spirited. I did not like this. This was a free gift with purchase, but number one, the color, terrible on me. Number two, the formula was just really weird and it went on very, very streaky. This is not recommended and it's not staying. This is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. This was an Ace for a play box, I think. Um, love the color, but again, <laughs> it goes on, if you can see, very streaky because of this 
teeny tiny little like doe foot. It doesn't have like a nice paddle on the end of it. And it's that mauve -y kind of color that I just need to get away from. So it's going. This one is ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Times Square. I am a little annoyed at this because I thought based on the pictures that the color that I would be getting was going to be quite different and it was this and it actually dries down on my lips much much darker which I hate so this is going and it also made my lips extremely dry and it actually whenever I would like lick my lips and then you know just like have my tongue in my mouth as most of us do um, it actually kind of made my mouth taste like I had been sucking on pennies. So I don't know what's up with that, but I do not like it. Next up is Kat Von D. This is a Love Sick. Got this in a Sephora play box. I've said this before in declutters, but I just really, I've never had good luck with Kat Von D products. So she is a brand that I choose not to purchase from anymore. Um, not for any other reason other than just the quality of the products. I don't feel like they work for me. Um, and I don't like her liquid lipstick formula, so therefore it's going. This is Dose of Color Stone. Such a pretty color. I love this. And Dose of Colors is actually my all-time favorite um, liquid lipstick formula. So I am for sure keeping this. It is a beautiful color. And it actually dries down kind of a taupey gray, which I like. Um, and I'm keeping it. End of story for that one. <laughs> this is Urban Decay's Amulet Liquid Lipstick. I know a lot of people had very bad luck with these, but for me, I loved this one. I can't vouch for the others, but for me, this one was amazing. And I love that it's a little bit metallic, but not too over the top crazy. It's just kind of shimmery. Um, color amazing love it I did a whole this or that on the Maybelline super stay matte ink versus the L'Oreal infallible pro matte if you would like to see that that is on my channel in the this or that playlist um, but let's talk about these real quick the L'Oreal one did win that episode of this or that however I don't need to keep both of these colors and I was kind of disappointed with the color that this is. This is nudist. It turned out much more like orangey on me and I feel like it wasn't super flattering. So this one is going. However, I did really like the shade Angora. So I'm going to keep this one. It's a great liquid lipstick formula for the drugstore. Um, it does have a little bit of tack though. So if you don't like that, you may not like these, but you can see my full review to know all that stuff, but this one's staying. This Maybelline one, the problem was that both of the Maybelline ones that I have bunched up on me really bad, um, even though the formulas were very similar, um, this one had a severe bunching problem and it would make little like um, bubbles on your lip and it was just not attractive. So these are both gonna go. I will show you the swatch of the other one in a minute, but this is Loyalist. This one is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Bel Air. I know a lot of people say that the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks are the best liquid lipstick uh, formula ever, and I hated it. It was extremely drying, and it did not have very much staying power. As soon as you start to eat or drink anything, uh, it's wearing off completely on the inside of your lips. So, did not love it. Do not recommend it. Bel Air. Next up are my two favorites. I would, I would call these a lip stain instead of a liquid lipstick, um, which actually they call these lip satins, but same difference. Um, these you can get on Hot Look for about half off, which I would recommend doing if you have access to Hot Look. These look amazing on the lips, and even though they go on a little bit streaky whenever you swatch them, once you put them on your lips and like rub them in, they look great and they will stay for quite some time even after like the shine of it has gone down the actual stain left behind looks great this one is in cashmere definitely keeping it all right home stretches all of the reds so here is the other kevin aquan one it is the sensual lip satin in velvet absolutely love this it just looks great on 
I always get compliments every time that I wear this. So beautiful. Plus the packaging is really cute on those too. This one is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain, and this was in number three, which I think was called Strawberry. Um, it's a really beautiful kind of like berry color. It's not really a red, but it's more of a berry, and I love how it looks. I do have to kind of watch these though, the cream lip stains, because they aren't color fast. They will transfer, they will smudge. So this one is staying. Next up is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso. This is the only true like red lipstick that I will keep because it is a liquid lipstick. It stays all day and it's a perfect color for me. I love these Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. Probably my second favorite and then Dose of Colors is my first favorite. This one is Dose of Colors Kiss of Fire. This one is more of a fuchsia type of red. It's like, it, it's red, but then it has the fuchsia kind of like underneath of it. Um, and I love this one. It's a great summertime kind of red pink color. Love it. Then there's the Sephora Lip Cream Stain in number one, which I forget what the name of it is. It looks very similar to the Stila Beso, but again, this one has less staying power and it's not quite as color fast, so this one's gonna go. Then last up is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Pioneer. Again, this bunched up so bad on my lips that I just can't deal with it, so this one is gonna go. Okay guys, so these are all of the ones that are going, and then what I'm keeping is I'm keeping 17 and we had a total of 78 so I believe that's getting rid of 61 and keeping 17 so is that right I will put whatever it is up on the screen because <laughs> clearly right now I'm not that good at math but <laughs> this is what I'm keeping and I feel like this is a much more manageable collection of course I do like to try new things so I'm sure over the course of the next little while before the next declutter, I will purchase more, but for right now, I feel like this is much more manageable and I don't have to feel bad about keeping all of these and then never using them. I hope that you guys found this video motivational. I hope that it gives you a little bit of, you know, oomph to get out there and go through your own collection, even if you spent a lot of money on it, even if you have some sort of sentimental value to it or you're attached to it let it go. If you're not using it, it doesn't make any sense to keep it sitting around and you always will feel that like, oh, I'm not using it. I should be using it. And then you don't use it and then you feel even worse. Just don't. Let it go, guys. And keep your collections more to things that you really enjoy using. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check last year's declutter. Um, I will have that up on the screen here and here, uh, the playlist, and I will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.